behind it. Hi there, this is William, and uh, the reason we're here down in my basement today is I'd like to show you uh, our Glenwood base heater. I bought this stove when I bought this house a year ago. I bought it from Barn Stable Stove Company, and uh, this is how we heat our house. I wouldn't have it any other way. This is the best investment I ever made. I want to show you why. This is one of the most efficient, most brilliantly designed stoves ever made. And uh, I want to show you why. It's different than the square crap boxes they make today and call coal stoves. We'll start with the outside and start at the top. This here is the swing top right here. Swings out. And you open this lid like this. And see it's on the hand so it won't fall off and this is you can load it from the top like this you can just dump the coal right in without opening the stove up when you close this this fits tightly down and this is an airtight fit believe it or not you can close this back up like that as you see there's nice detail in the castings see it's very tastefully done and you see here in the skirt and all that nice scroll work from our point of view, this looks pretty ornate, but uh, this was considered a very simple design back in 1909. Most stoves at the time were covered with ornate castings and nickel plating everywhere. Glenwood decided to make a simple stove, and it's very tasteful, and this was extremely popular. They sold hundreds of thousands of these during their series. This came out in 1906, it was called the Modern Series. And this stove operates at about 90 to 95% efficiency. The stove is efficient on both levels. You can have combustion efficiency and a, a thermal efficiency. Most stoves you have one or the other. This stove you have both. And I'll explain all that to you. We'll just go down here and if you look, I'll show you the loading doors. It opens up, you have two doors. So you have all kinds of room in here. And these doors are designed, you notice there's no play in the hinges, you can't wiggle it. And when it closes, it fits tight. This is an airtight fit. The dampers are also airtight. There's a spring right here in this little cap, under this cap right here, that holds these dampers tightly against the, the body of the door. This stove was designed to be airtight. And I know it's a common misconception these days that uh, stoves from this period are not airtight. Well, you know, it's old, so it leaks, but no, this is designed to be airtight, and it is. You have complete, perfect control over the fire. The ash pit dampers are the same way. They're spring loaded, and they press against the body of the door, and there's absolutely no leakage whatsoever. And as you see, this fits tightly and there's no air leaking around the sides of the door. Now, I want to show you what makes a base heater different from a uh, standard stove. As you know, a standard stove has the exhaust collar right up here at the top and the pipe comes out of the top. The air comes underneath the ash pit through the fire, up through the combustion chamber, and then out the top. And then your heat and exhaust goes up the chimney and is lost forever. What a base burner does is it recirculates the heat in the exhaust and radiates it out into the room. As you see here, these are the base heating tubes. I'll open this up and show this to you. You have a valve, I'm gonna reach around here so I don't block the camera. This is the valve right here that controls it. One is for direct draft, what that does if you can look in there, this, the smoke and heat come out through the exhaust manifold here and it goes down and it goes up through the exhaust pipe. When you flip this up like this, as you can see, it goes down and what it does, it goes and circulates around underneath the bottom of the ash pit and comes up and then goes out. That adds about 12 feet of a radiating surface to the stove. 
gas stove, which takes up a floor space of two square feet, has a radiating surface of over 27 feet. So all the heat that is produced by the fire, most of it is radiated into the room. And there are several other features that help the efficiency of the stove as well. As you, as you know, when something is heated, it draws cool air in and creates a convective current. The heat rises and the hot air rises as it draws cool air towards it at the bottom, hot air rises at the top. What this skirt does, this isn't for decoration, this is to create a turbulence. When the air is warmed and pull, is pulled up, this creates a turbulence and breaks up the current and it creates a flow across the floor. You can really feel it. This ring does the same thing. The heat comes up and it circulates it around. Therefore, it increases the radiant efficiency of the stove by quite a margin. And uh, we don't have enough time to do two videos, but I wanted to show you, I mean one video, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do two videos. Now I wanna show you this check damper right here. I wanna show you this check damper right here. Come here. This is a, not many stoves have them these days, but this is done. This is sort of like a, a modern barometric damper in the fact that this cuts the draft through the stove. And it's also, if you burn wood or bituminous coal, this allows extra combustion air to burn the gases before they escape up the chimney and then increases the efficiency of the stove and prevents creosote formation if you burn wood. We'll talk about wood burning later. Anyway, we're gonna to have to do two videos. There's too much to fit into one. And uh, we'll say bye now and we'll see you in the next video.